In section 10.2, we will be focusing on congruent chords. After watching this video, you will be able to apply the relationship between congruent chords of a circle. Keep in mind that these theorems that you learned today will have to be applied to more complex and complicated diagrams, so you really want to be thinking about when it's appropriate to use the following theorems. We are going to write down the two theorems first, and then we are going to use the diagram above to visually display the theorems and talk about them. And the second theorem we are actually going to prove. If you notice here while reading these two theorems, they are pretty much opposites of each other. So the first theorem and second theorem are converses of each other. The first theorem says if two chords of a circle are equidistant from the center, then they are congruent. And the second theorem says if two chords of a circle are congruent, then they are equidistant from the center of the circle. Let's go ahead and label the diagram as follows. We are first going to talk about the first theorem. We would have to be given some information to work with this theorem. We would have to be given that we have a circle, and keep in mind those perpendicular segments are going to be the distance from the center of the circle to the chord. It's always the perpendicular. And for the first one, we're told that if two chords of a circle are equidistant from the center, so we know that segment OF is congruent to segment OE. And we want to then say if this happens, those two chords, CD and AB, are congruent. And that is what happens with the first one. So if we have two chords of a circle that are equidistant from the center, then the large chords are congruent. Now let's talk about the second theorem. Once again, we'd have to be given a circle. We'd have to be given those perpendicular segments because that always is the distance from the center of the circle to the chord. And this time here, we have the two large yellow chords that are congruent. So we're given that CD is congruent to AB. Therefore, what can we say? We want to show that those two chords are equidistant from the center of the circle. So, think about from last section, we know that if radii are perpendicular to chords, that they also bisect the chords. So as a result, we get those four segments congruent. CF is congruent to FD, and AE is congruent to EB. Because of the division property, we can say that segment CF is congruent to segment AE. Then let's draw in our radii CO and AO. We know that radii of a circle are congruent. So we can say that those two triangles, COF and AOE, are congruent by HL. And then by CPCTC, we can say that segments OF and OE are congruent, which therefore gives us the fact that the two chords are equidistant from the center because those two segments, OF and OE, are congruent. So there's the proof of the second theorem. The proof of the first theorem would be very similar, except just in reverse order. We'll pick back up with the second part of the notes in just a moment.